Now we are going to post process our shell model results. We go into results. Here in the ODB database of our shell one, we are going to work on our truss and we are going to check what is the force in our truss member. We will call it bar one. So I chose this one. And now we are going to ask for the ODB field output. First, we are going to deal with stresses we are going to deal with stress S11, which is a stress in the global X direction, which is a stress in this direction. So we are going to ask for the ODB field output, ask for the stress S11, and choose the selection, of course, and element nodal, choose the selection here. Click done, we've got 34 elements set select it and click save see they appear in the xy data now we go to operate on those xy data and we calculate the average click press ctrl shift to select all and add it to the expression on the average and save it as s on one of bar one see now we've got it saved here we can get rid of all the others selecting them with Ctrl shift and deleting and we only have are left with our average stress in our bar one we copy that and we paste that in our excel file of course with a comma and now we are going to recalculate our average stress times our area in centimeters. This will give us the force in newtons. And are we going to recalculate it for kilonewtons? So this is the average force that we obtain based on stresses averaging and uh, multiplying by the area. Okay, as you can see in the shell analysis we can also have a sectional forces so we should if we want to use the sectional forces that are here we have to first in the model of our shell ask for a field output request and ask for the forces and section forces and then recalculate resubmit our analysis so then we will be able to see our sectional forces here. The difference between stresses and sectional forces is that sectional forces is a membrane force per unit width in the local direction one. Our local direction is the local direction of an element in this direction here. It's going to be along this axis. But to make sure of that, we are going to now average our section force over this bar again so we go into the odb field output now we select section force number one and we have to select our nodes elements okay yes mm -hmm. one more time Now we are going to operate on the data and average them. Save it as SF1 for bar 1. Delete the unimportant data now. And you see that our value, which we are going to copy here now, is like that but remember this is a value per width or the width which is the actually the circumference of our cross section is 76 centimeters so it's because it is 
4 times 19, which is more or less the middle circumference. And now we are going to calculate our sectional force times width, which gives us value of force in Newton and value in kilonewtons is 240. So we can see, depending on the our mesh and on our uh, accuracy of what we do, we have more or less the same results for our 